So here's where we record our data. This spreadsheet. I've got my lab quest. I go to file, open, and all the files I got yesterday are here. So I'm going to start with air temperature. And we did the air temperature this year, but I notice oh, we haven't recorded it for a few years. I guess air temperature hasn't been that important. Uh, but the average air temperature was 61.2 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. Next, we're going to do, let's do turbidity. And you see, oh, you can't see that, can you? This is where I find it. So the mean was 16.6. Turbidity NTU, 16.6. And I mean, the next step is to learn what this stuff means. All right, we got conductivity. It was 91.7 parts per million. Haven't done, whoa, haven't done conductivity in a long time. So, uh, we gotta go back into the archives to figure out what that one is. And, um, yeah, you guys will be interacting with this data going back all the way. Whoa, to 2002. That's how long we've been recording the data here. Okay, so conductivity, and then... What was this other one? Water temperature was 52.9 degrees. And I'll have to convert that to Celsius, because this is Fahrenheit. Uh, whoa. Last year it was even higher. 60.7. The year before that was 56. So, who? not that bad. 51. Yeah, ever since we changed to the spring, uh, the water temp has gotten a lot hotter. All right, we'll have to compare that to the other ones. Pretty cool. All right. I didn't remember it had been that hot. It always seems really hot when you get that high a temperature for uh, Chimicum Creek water. All right, so the pH... See, I got 5.7 on this one. I'm going to write that down and then check my other one. And... Oh, no, wait. No, no, this was the pH that was messed up. 5.7 was DO. And that does not make sense for the DO. That is way too low. Chimicum Creek is a moving stream. You're going to find out why it, it should have a higher dissolved oxygen. So those were the first ones I tried. If you saw the video, didn't get good data, had to go back to the classroom, try another probe, come back down and test it again. Now the DO probe the more expensive one. That one has pretty accurate data. And this number, 8.96 milligrams per liter of dissolved oxygen makes sense, because look, we get 7.7, 8.8. See these numbers? They're close enough to each other year after year that it makes sense uh, that the trend is right. Okay, so we got that one. Let's get the correct pH, because this one worked well. Yeah, the average was 6.1. Much better. Look at that. 6.2 last year, 6.28 the year before. Mmm, it makes sense, because the pH there shouldn't change that much. Okay. Flow rate. The average. Oh, I haven't. Uh, I'm going to put it over here. I have to calculate the flow because all I have is meters per second. So it was 0.546 meters per second. All right, so I know I got to calculate that. So I'll add that later. When you guys see it, it'll be uh, correct. Because I just haven't done the math yet. I have a spreadsheet to do the math for me. I don't do it in my head, or even on paper. So we got fluorite, pH, let's see, the other DO was rather low, so I'm thinking 
the new DO probe gets much more accurate looking numbers. The old ones, the one that had put the solution in, if you saw the video, those are giving me numbers that are too low for Chimicum Creek. So I got DO. All right, I need to do turbidity. Uh, DO solution, pH, flow rate, turbidity. And the turbidity we got was 16 point. Oh, I already got that one. Oh, so I'm done. I just need to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius and convert meters per second to gallons per second. All right, so I'm going to do that. And then the next time you see this, when I share it with you, and there's the, the link is right here. It's a shortened link, uh, but if you can't see that, I'll share it when it's time for us to work on it, because right now many of you are still working on climate change. So here's the spreadsheet that we use in class. I usually have it broken up by team and by period. So if we just have water temp, and we put one in here, 52.9 degrees Fahrenheit, it takes the average, which is just one number, but look, it automatically converts it to Celsius. So that's 11.6 degrees Celsius, which we can compare to last year was 14.5, and then the years where I only have Celsius, we can see that it used to be uh, much colder, 4.6. Back in 2014, we were still going in the fall. Uh, we used to do this in the fall, and then we moved it to spring because there are a lot more opportunities for outdoor work and connecting with other schools. So I got that. Don't need that anymore. And then for flow rate, check this out. I'm going to put the 0.546 meters per second. And then this formula, the meters per second times 1.015 which is uh, meters per second times meters squared, which is the area of the creek, gets us 0.55419. And then to convert cubic meters per second to gallons per, per second, you have to multiply that by 264.172052, and it gets us 146.4 gallons per second. Just in that. Uh, part of the creek. And if you compare it to last year, last year we barely had any rain. The water just wasn't uh, uh, flowing very much. It was really low. And so we only had 54 gallons per second. The year before that, 73. So this year the rains are back. Uh, 2017, it was really uh, a lot of water in there. But uh, this year we're at 146, so we're at a nice flow rate. Uh, but you're going to take a look at all this data and see how Chimicum Creek has been doing since 2002 for the past 18 years. I know, really awesome.